Hey guys, I got like a boys here, and today we're gonna be working on a 1995 Kubota L245 DT. Now, this tractor's been sitting for about four or five years now, and the reason why it has been sitting is we actually have what we believe is gonna be a blown head gasket. So that is what we're gonna be working on to make this thing run. We're hoping that it still runs, but we can tell that we have a blown head gasket because if we look in our radiator, as you can see, that is uh, not very good looking. It's supposed to be more of like an orange, lime, green, and as you can see, there's oil in there. And most of the time, that means there is a blown head gasket. So we're going to be taking this apart, getting this all apart, and putting a new head gasket in, and hopefully she runs beautifully after that. Now, before I get started taking this apart, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm actually just going to blow it off with a bunch of compressed air. Because it has been sitting so long, you can see there's a bunch of dust everywhere. And since I'm going to be pulling off the head and everything, I want to make sure we're as clean as possible. And then second, obviously, I'm going to disconnect the battery up front just so that we don't have any shorts or anything and I don't damage anything. Now that we finally have the tractor all clean, we're just gonna quickly disconnect our battery. At a later time, once it's all done, this battery will get pulled out just because it's old. I believe it's like, I think it's six. No, it's eight years old. So that's definitely gonna need to be replaced. Surprisingly, when I did charge it, it did hold a little bit of a charge, but nothing near enough to be able to start the tractor. So that will have to come out. And now that we have the battery disconnected, it's time to actually start working on dismantling this and getting the new head gasket in. So first off, I'm actually just going to disconnect this breather hose. So we're going to loosen up this clamp here. That should be plenty loose. It'll be a little bit more just so it's far enough out of the way. There we go. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, it came off beautifully. We'll retighten this clamp down just so I don't lose it. And finally, I'm going to take some paper towel. Just shove it up in this hose. This is mainly just so I don't get any other dirt in there. And so if there's any dirt in there, it doesn't come out. We'll take it off our intake here. And we'll put one in there. That's what I mean. There we go. So that is all set. Get that out of the way. I'll actually zip this off. This will just allow me to get... Oh, that's completely off this a little bit further out of the way so I do not have to deal with that it's always best put your nuts back where they came from just so then you don't lose them there we go and now I do know as you saw this thing is almost full with coolant slash a little bit of oil in there so our next step will actually be to drain that out So we're going to stick our drain pan in there, right underneath there. And actually if we look, so this hose right here actually, with this interesting uh, valve here, I'm not sure why that's fully in there. But if we look, this hose actually comes to the bottom of our radiator there. And unfortunately I don't see... any drainage spots so we're actually just going to take this so we'll loosen this up pull that far enough back so then it doesn't fall off I can even get it back there we go 
Now without breaking anything. There we go. Just carefully wiggle that on back. And look at that, if you look at that, it's not a very pretty color. So yeah, that's supposed to be a very nice bright green as you can see it's it's still got a little bit of green but it's dark there's definitely oil in there yep look at that look at that change you can even see the change in there that is not good so we'll have to drain out all the coolant all the oil um we'll definitely do an oil change we'll put a new filter on there and then we'll also flush the coolant a couple times just to get any oil that might still be in there out so we get a brand new coolant in there and that should be good for a while. Oh, look at that. Here we go. So now we have most of the coolant out. We'll still let it drain out. But that will allow us to work on some of the coolant pipes and anything else without having to worry about spilling coolant everywhere. Now to start off, I'm going to be removing this radiator hose just because that is connected to our head and everything. That'll allow us a little bit more access and there's no coolant in there so that shouldn't start spilling all over. Just zip these off. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Come on. Uh, yeah. Whew. Yeah. Uh, come on, it's right there. There we go. Whew, I think I just pulled something doing that. Oh. There's that. Ow. Set that to the side. Yeah, it's definitely full of gunk in there. And honestly, since we're here, we'll see if we can pick up a thermostat. Because that's actually, I can see it right in there. So might as well throw a new one in there because who knows how full of gunk that one is. Now we'll take our decompression throttle cable here. Get that all loosened up. Cause I cannot leave this connected. There we go. Don't want to lose that nut. fully disassemble this, pop this off. Now that won't be hanging on to the head at all. Once again, I'm going to just quickly put it back together so nothing falls off and it's still all together. Set that to the side. Now we'll actually do, we'll loosen up our alternator here just so then we can get this belt off and I'm also maybe yeah, we'll pop this shield off just so that is out of the way. It's currently really just making it so I can get in there easier. I mean, this alternator does need to be loosened because... Otherwise, I can't get that belt off and we honestly might throw a new belt in there. This is one of those things I know. Throwing just a lot of new things in there, but it's one of those... It's already a part. And an, a belt like this in a thermostat neither of those are very expensive so why not replace it while you're already here so now that oh my oh yeah we still got one more bolt down low we gotta loosen up and then that should freely move there we go 
beautiful. So then we'll pull that belt off in a moment. We'll come around the other side. Nope. And it actually loosens up our whole fan shroud and everything on this side actually we're going to re-tighten that down just because I do want to keep that in there I don't believe that'll need to be moved quite yet or if all just then it doesn't get bent or broken oh cool that just went right in all that coolant perfect At least tighten that one down. And now we get to go fishing in all our coolant here. Woohoo! Look at that. So we'll give that just a quick rinse. And we'll stick it back in here. Hopefully, don't lose it this time. And the smartest thing to do here would be to actually, we'll close this coolant line back up. Just a little clean because there's a lot of gunk around there. And then in case there is any coolant left in there, we don't want that spilling out. So we'll take this paper towel, stick that in there so nothing gets in there. And then we'll do the same with this other coolant line. Rest that out. Anything that might be left in there. The nice milkiness. Once again, I'll stick another piece of paper towel in. And we'll get this coolant out of here so I don't drop anything else in here or spill it because that would be a disaster. Now, as we come back to the other side, we are actually gonna pull off our muffler and our exhaust attachment right here. Just so then that's not stuck on the head at all while we're working on that. Get rid of a lot of extra weight. Of course, I need extension. So we'll loosen this up, there we go, it's nice little wiggles. Come on, there we go, now we can set this to the side. We are still going to leave these on just because there's no reason to take them off and I don't want to risk breaking any of the studs in there. That would be a nightmare. As long as I got major weight, all that will be fine. And then we'll also, if we can, try and pop off this belt real quick. Just like that. Now on this side, this is where most of the rest of the work is going to be because our next plan is we're going to actually pop off uh, a little breather tube or I guess the return line for our injectors. So we'll get that taken off. We have to disconnect our glow plugs. And then finally, we have to disconnect our fuel lines to the injectors. And after that, we should be taking off our valve covers and then the head. Now we'll take off these glow plug connections just so I can get this off. So we'll carefully try and thread this off. That's fine. 
Now that that's disconnected, we'll keep everything on there. How can I lose it? Oh, there it is. And then we will re-thread this end on. Once again, just so we don't lose it. So that is all disconnected. Now, we'll disconnect. Gotta loosen up this clamp first. So we'll just try. Disconnect it right up here. And of course, like everything, oh, here we go. Well, that could be a problem. Fuel, of course, is above level. Let's so really drain some of it out. We'll take my fancy fuel line that I don't need anymore. Just pop it in, just like that. Now we'll let this drain until it's below level because yeah, it's, it's a full tank. There's a lot of fuel in there. I don't really care if I'm losing some of this just because it's so old anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Now that we have this line off, that's set to go. So we're disconnected there. Now finally, we're just going to remove our injectors down here or the fuel lines to these from the fuel pump. We should be set. Definitely look like that one moved. Yep, there we go. So that it's number one off. trying to break anything in here either there we go and finally our last one are very nice that should be all those those are all loose there we go there's our fancy little magnetic tray here we'll take all these guys off Set them to the side so they don't get lost. And it's magnetic, which is even nicer. Oh, those aren't magnetic. All right. There we go. 
now with these nuts removed, some gentle massaging, I can feel it slowly coming up. Beautiful. Come straight up. Make sure we get the seal out. The gasket. And then we'll set this to the side. Now we get to remove the rocker arm, so we'll get that out. And then we'll disconnect our push rods. And then finally, hopefully uh, we can unbolt our head right here. Get them at least loosened up. I want to make sure we keep all this together. We want to be careful we don't drop it into anything and they get lost in some little crevice. That would be rather unfortunate. So let's get we'll pull this all off. Oh, almost lost that one. There we go. to the side once again we're making sure we know which one's front which would be this side know which side's back and then same thing with our push rods here I'm gonna just make sure like just careful with those get all these guys out of there our final set Now we can start loosening this all up. So it looks like we've got, yeah, we've got one nut here, one nut there. And it does appear I'd be I missed something, so I'm gonna have to real pop quick pop this off. First, I'm just gonna break all of these loose. <sighs> Pop these 
final nuts off. We'll get those all the way off. I just loosened the hole. Oops. Carefully try and lift it straight on up. And once again, we want to be careful, we want to make sure we know now. Once again, even though this is a little bit harder to mess up, um, we want to be very careful. Knowing uh, which is front and back, I mean, it's pretty simple in this terms, but we will still keep it labeled. And we should have everything loose. So now very carefully, we're going to try and lift straight on up. Here we go. Oh, this thing's heavy. Oh. And very quickly, I just did want to show you guys kind of what I did here. So we got our workbench here. We made sure try got as clean as possible. We had some nice clean cardboard. As you can see, I'm putting everything on. Put that over. So we got our head and everything. And as you can see, so what I'm doing is as I'm going along, I am going and actually just make sure everything goes back so that nut went back on all the bolts are here everything we need everything's together and then as you can see here I actually have my lifter rods and I just put little holes in the cardboard so they wouldn't fall through and it kind of helps protect them so they're not rolling around getting all over and then I just have labeled up here I was gonna lay them out but I ended up doing this instead so you know obviously this is up and then we got front of the tractor and back so I know these two go on the front and this is exactly how I pulled them out so I can put them exactly back in and then once again I did label up here for our lifters here so now I know that this is the front and that's the back so it all will go in perfectly and once again same thing this is the front that's the back and everything will go together perfectly and there won't be any questions and I know and can be assured of what I'm doing. Now, we'll carefully pull this out. Actually, for now, we're just going to leave this. This is as far as we'll get today. So luckily we now have the head off. I'm gonna actually cover this all up. I'll cover the parts over there. And now it's just time to order everything we need. So we'll get a new head gasket. Hopefully we'll get that pretty soon. Uh, we'll pick up a new thermostat and possibly a belt. We'll definitely do the new thermostat and we'll see about the belt. But this far as we'll get today, next time it will be just kind of cleaning up the actual block, getting any gunk out of here, cleaning up the uh, head and the valve cover and just all that stuff getting everything nice and clean and then reassembling it all so i hope you guys enjoyed um kind of just this little walk along with me getting tearing this thing apart i love doing this kind of stuff it's kind of cool just seeing the very basics and how simple everything is and hopefully everything goes well i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time